How's it going everyone? My name is Daniel from Mintoots and today I'm going to show you how to clean up your skin inside Photoshop. So as you can see in front of me here, I do already have a photo open inside Photoshop of a person with sort of a unlucky situation going on with his skin. So what we're going to do is we're going to take care of his skin using Photoshop and remove some of the pimples and some of the unclean skin and some of the redness we have on his skin and just sort of clean him up. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sort of remove the, the red colors that we have going on on his skin. The way we can do that is using our adjustment tool called hue and saturation. So I'm going to select that one. And in here we can choose either the master colors like we have selected as a default. But a neat trick we can do is we can actually select a specific color. So we're going to choose something like the red colors. And then once we have the red color selected, we're going to just sort of buff up the saturation so we can see exactly what we have selected inside the photo here. So now you can see we selected pretty much everything about the person. And we want to sort of tone that down to only have his pimple selected and the unclean skin inside uh, the picture. So the way we can do that is at the bottom here we have a slider. So the way we can do that is by adjusting the slider at the bottom here to only select part of the redness we have inside uh, the photo. So as you can see, we can actually turn that quite a lot. And I think just about, and again, you just have to sort of play around with it to get the right selection. I think just around here is fine. So now that we have this selected, I can go ahead and turn this back down to something neutral. And I can go ahead and just adjust the hue up here. So we have something a little bit closer to his skin color, which is around plus 15-ish, at least in my picture here. I can turn down the saturation just so we have something that is not too, uh, what do you call it, red inside the photo. And again, we can grab the slider again at the bottom if we want to change it just slightly more after we did actually make the changes inside the hue and saturation. So we can take the slider and just move it up a little bit more just to get a little bit more of that redness gone. So now if we were to go up here and hide the layer we just created with the saturation on it, you can see that we have a huge difference in before and after when we did actually apply the saturation adjustment onto this picture here. So the next thing we need to do is we actually need to clean up his skin, which is the fun part. So now we get to play around with a tool called the Spot Healing Brush Tool, which is right over here inside your tools panel on the left side. So I'm just going to go ahead and select it. Then I'm going to zoom in on the photo. and we're going to start with all the small details first and then we're going to work our way up to the bigger details. Now with the spot healing brush tool selected, what we want to do is we first of all want to make sure we have the layer unlocked because right now I didn't unlock it yet. So I just want to do that so we can make changes to it. The second thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have content aware chosen up in the top. And you also want to make sure you have sample all layers selected inside uh, the settings up here. Because what we're going to do is we're not going to paint over the original photo. We could, if we wanted to, just paint here and then remove all the scars and the pimples and that sort of thing. But instead, I'm going to create a new layer. I want to make sure this is the top layer so we don't have it uh, affected by the hue and saturation. And now we can actually paint on top of the new layer we created and not on top of the original photo because we have sample all layers selected, which means that it's going to take a look at the overall photo and ignore the layers and just sort of make adjustments on the new layer we created instead of the original, instead of the original layer we have at the bottom there. So now we can actually go ahead and, and we can of course just sort of turn it down because we don't want to choose more uh, whiteness of the brush tool than necessary. We just want to be able to paint in the areas that we want to paint. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. As you can see, we have something here, we have something here. And this is a really great tool when it comes to Photoshop because we can very quickly remove any sort of unclean skin that we might have inside our photos using this tool. And again, there's quite a lot of skin you can sort of remove here. So I'm just going to go ahead and be very uh, delicate and just sort of take my time to remove the parts that I want to take care of. And I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit because this might take some time and I don't want this video to become too long. So I'm going to have a, a really quick fast forward part here.
Okay, so the first time we went over the photo, we took care of all the small things like pimples and that sort of thing. And now the second time we're gonna go over it again. And this time we're gonna take care of all this, you know, the sort of largest spots that you might have on his face. So I'm going to increase the brush size. And I can do that by holding down Alt, then right clicking and then dragging to the left and right side. I can also go up and down if I want to increase the softness of the brush tool, which is also in some cases when we work with the brush, a spot healing tool, a really good feature because it allows for us to not have these weird round edges around the spots that we're healing. So I'm just going to go ahead and decrease my uh, size. And then I'm going to go ahead and go over all the larger areas. So like the spot you see right here, we can go over it. And as you can see, it sort of disappears. Now, if you make a mistake or it doesn't content aware corrected the way you want it to, you can always go over it again and just uh, what do you call redo the painting again because then it's just going to make another attempt at creating uh, what you want to have here or you can just redo and try again so i'm just going to go ahead and do that really quickly i'm going to take out all the uh, larger spots now i don't think this is going to take too long so i don't think there'll be any uh, fast forwarding here uh, the other fast forward just sort of because there's quite a lot of small pimples i needed to get rid of and that would take way too long if i had to do that in normal speed um, now the really cool thing about using this spot healing brush tool is that it also sort of uh, keeps the uh, pores and that sort of thing, uh, at least in most cases. Again, if something doesn't get corrected the way you want it to, you can just sort of try again and see if it does actually do it for you. I'm just going to go and take care of that one, that one, that one. It's a small hair there I want to get rid of. Again, you can really manipulate photos by using this tool here because it's actually a really great tool for this sort of thing. So I think I am just about happy with uh, what I did here because I don't want it to be too good if you sort of get what I mean because you don't want it to be too perfect because then it's going to be looking a little bit weird. But I want to get rid of that thing up there. There we go. So what we can do now is we can actually go ahead and see the before and after. So this is what we had before. This is what we had after and it's a huge difference. Again, I know there's still some stuff going on over here and we can if we want to just sort of remove it. Again, take your time about this much longer than I do here because there is quite a lot you can do uh, to this photo in order to make it a lot better than uh, what I just did here. So I'm just going to go over this really quickly and do a really rough job here because I want to save time because Photoshop tutorials should not be too long. Otherwise, people don't want to watch them. I said that in the last episode too, but it's true. People don't want to click on a video that is way too long. And there we go. Okay, I think that's better than we want. Well, what we had before. Um, my speaking also sort of goes away. Um, so now that we did this, there's another thing I want to take care of, which is actually a trick that I found out recently because I was researching up if there was any new methods to this uh, than the one I knew beforehand. And I did see one person, he actually painted in uh, the redness of the skin again, because right now I can see after we removed all the redness to the skin and the blemishes, um, the skin has become sort of pale. And we don't want that to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the hue and saturation layer because you can see the mouth is not red anymore. We actually turn it into a sort of yellowish color because if you see it before and after, and we want to remain sort of red when it comes to the, the what do you call it, the lips. So what I want to do is I want to take the brush tool, make sure I have the hue and saturation layer selected because this layers uh, work sort of the same way as a mask layer. So if I were to select a black or white color, I can remove and add to the layer that we created using the adjustments. So as you can see, I just painted in uh, the, the, the lips again. So we have the colors inside the lips and the saturation doesn't affect the lip area. So now that I did this, I'm going to create a new layer at the very top. And I'm going to select a reddish color, like something like this. Then I want to increase my brush and just sort of paint in the areas of the face that I want to uh, be sort of reddish because we removed the red colors after we um, you know, used the hue and saturation. So I just want to paint in sort of the uh, red areas again. And I think this might be good. Uh, I'm not a artist, so I don't know how to shade things properly, but I think this might be good enough. Then I want to go to uh, the, what do you call it, the blend mode that you have on top of the layers. And I want to choose something called soft light. After selecting that, we can just sort of tone down the fill order opacity to 
and not have it too apparent inside the photo. I think something like maybe 15% might be good enough. So if we see the before and after, you can see we sort of get some color back into the skin, uh, which is good to have. And we can also keep painting in uh, after, you know, after choosing the blend mode, we can keep painting it in again until we get something that uh, we're happy with. So something like around these lines here. So this is how you can remove blemishes and that sort of thing from the skin. This is also how you can apparently paint in the skin again if it removes all the colors. So I hope you learned something from this episode you could bring on to your next projects and I hope to see you in the next episode.